Hi guys, it's Izumi, and it's been a while. It's been like three months, I think, to be exact. It is currently approaching three months, at least. It might have only been two, but it felt like a long time. And so I wanted to kind of come on here and explain why that was and also where I've been um, and also what's the plan for the future and whatnot. Um, I have posted since my tiny little hiatus that was not planned to have happened, but did in fact happen. I have technically posted. I posted two videos. I posted my What Remains of Edith Fitch playthrough, which was about a month ago that I put that out. And I also posted the first episode of the MCTV Network podcast. So I have been active, but I've just not been active to the point that I was. Um, and I'm going to explain why. To cut to the chase, basically it started as a non-voluntary hiatus uh, because my computer shit itself. <laughs> my computer uh, liquid cooling basically stopped working and so I had to wait for a replacement part to come in um, and we tried to get it replaced uh, by uh, the company because it was under warranty still, but that they basically ghosted me. Um, and so I just ended up buying the new part because I obviously need my computer for my job. And so I just ended up, you know, forking out the money and paying for it. Um, and it's now all in working order and it's been in working order for a while. So, uh, but th that was the reason for it initially. Um, initially it was two, I think it took about three weeks, two to three weeks for the part to come in. Um, and during those two to three weeks, life changed quite a quite a bit um mainly my perception of life um i originally if you're if you're on my discord you were the first ones to hear about this if not then you might have seen it through my community tab or you might have just been in the dark about what was happening this entire time which all three of those options are, are valid um late february I put out the announcement that my computer was having some issues. Uh, something internally, I believe, got disconnected. Uh, so I couldn't work an internet crush. Uh, so the episode might be delayed. And this happened right before the season finale. Oh, how fun. Um, the season finale was literally right around the corner. Um, we were on episode 18 of 20. And um, my computer then had the issues. <laughs> how lovely. Turns out it wasn't just something was disconnected. An entire part just stopped working, um, which sucked but i actually have a sneaking suspicion that i might have gotten a used part um i did not order a used part i think i got it like a refurbished part basically um because it just from the beginning worked differently and was not working the same way and now that i have the one that works properly i can say for fact that the old one had issues from the beginning that i did not know were issues because i had never used this pc part before i'd always had just fans and um i never had liquid cooling before so i didn't know anything was wrong but there was something wrong and we got that fixed and now it's fixed long story short. So that took about a month to wait for the part to come in. Well, trying to contact the company, waiting for the part to come in and then installing said part back into my computer. So that was about a month. So that takes us then to March. Um, it is May 1st when I'm filming this. I don't know if this is going out today or if this is going to be going out in a couple days. I don't know. We'll see. Also around this time, I actually don't have a specific date. Hold on one second. April 3rd. I announced that Gabe and I were engaged. Um, this was not in March. I skipped a month. So the beginning of last month, basically, I announced that I'm engaged uh, to my long-term boyfriend, um, now fiance. Um, we had been engaged for a little bit, but we wanted to keep it very private. And we've kind of realized with time that we really like our love life being somewhat private, uh, behind the scenes. And so we kept it private for a little bit. Um, we told super duper close friends. Uh, we mainly just told family at first. And we wanted to make sure that we told all of my and all of his family before we told the internet. Uh, so we were very cautious with who we were telling because um, I love some of my friends, but they cannot keep a secret. <laughs> and so it was very hard for me to not tell certain people. But I had to keep it a secret because I did not want someone to find out through my YouTube channel that I was engaged uh, rather than hearing it from my own mouth. So and I wanted to tell people in person. So that was a whole other thing. And my family does not live local. They they are not 
close to me. I have to travel to see them. Same with Gabe's family. So, you know, this is like a very small detail that is like not important, but I went blonde um, about a couple months ago. I think I went blonde in like February, kind of right when all of this was happening, which is not a coincidence, I realized when things are going a little crazy and not like I predicted in my life, um, I typically do something wild with my hair. Um, I chopped my hair to here when I got my cats because I was not used to having that much responsibility in my life. Um, and so I chopped my hair off um, in my bathroom on a whim. The next day, I literally was like, I want short hair. Next day, I cut my hair. <laughs> I also got bangs during that time period. It was whole thing. Um, but I went blonde a couple months ago, uh, which to be fair, I had a little bit of blonde in my hair from when I went purple, still left over. So like, it wasn't like a complete change. It was basically just like my whole head was blonde rather than just the little ends of my hair. Um, uh, but now I am brunette again. I literally just dyed my hair brunette and it's kind of like an auburny brunette. I like it. It turned out pretty good. Um, I dyed my hair literally like two days ago, uh, back to brown and I really like it. I feel like 18 year old me again. It's really weird. Um, it's like weird. There's like a bunch of stuff happening too right now that like, it's like weird path life stuff, destiny, universe, whatever you want to call it. God's plan. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Just weird stuff has been happening. And it all started with my computer not working. So when my computer stopped working, I wasn't able to work on Minecraft role plays. And I realized that Minecraft role plays were literally all I was doing all the time besides the about week of my schedule out of the month that I actually had to be focusing on my freelance stuff, my ASMR stuff. Um, and that was it really. Um, the other three weeks out of the month were solely Minecraft role plays. Um, and streaming and gaming videos. And I love it. I love it so, so much. But I really realized during that time period that I'd put a lot of things on the back burner because I was focusing so solely on Minecraft role plays and nothing else. Um, I love directing. I love writing. But that skill does not only have to be used in Minecraft role plays. And I realized that during the three weeks to basically month, I was forced to take off from Minecraft role plays. Um, I talked a little bit about this in some stuff online, but I have never sat down and like officially talked about it on here. And I feel like you guys deserve to know. So here I am. Sorry if this is really jumbled and all over the place. I'm just trying to speak through my heart. So I don't have anything outlined or anything scripted. I'm just, I just want to talk to you guys, you know, heart to heart, basically. So during that time period, I realized I was spending so much of my time on Minecraft role plays and I love Minecraft role plays, um, but I do not make a living off of Minecraft role plays at all. Um, and I realized the living I was making was purely off of a week out of the month. Um, and it's not even like I want Minecraft role plays to be my sole income. Um, and then I'm like doing it, you know, as like my side hustle that I want to be my main hustle. It's like, I have so many things in my life that I want to be my career. Um, I'm, and I, I realized that during that time period that I was really neglecting the other things I wanted to do in life um, and the relationships in my life because I was focusing so much on <laughs> Minecraft role plays, <laughs> a block game. Um, not to diminish what Minecraft role plays have done for me and the people I've met through it and the audience I've gained through it. I love all of you guys so, so much. And I, again, this is not me quitting. Let me just make that very clear. I love this. This is something that I don't think I'll ever fully give up. I think I'll continue to do it, at least for what I see in my future. But I don't know what the future holds, obviously. And so that's obviously subject to change. But as of right now, I don't see a reality where I'm not at least doing this part time. Um, and so that's when I realized, you know, I, I, was, I, I wrote a lot during that break. Um, I wrote a lot of books. Um, I started the Internet Crush book um, and it's turning out really good and I really like it. And I'm about halfway through it. Um, I wrote the half of it in a week. And so I got a little burnt out afterwards. Um, but it was really strange and really freeing to 
break my mold, to break the schedule I had forced on myself. I would get up at six, I would start work at seven, and I'd work on microflow plays solely, typically, besides a week of the month, um, from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., um, taking a 15 minute lunch break. Um, and that was my day. And I would normally work even after three. I would work, I would work late almost every single night. Um, but the schedule I had in my head was seven to three, but I would always work late. (laughs) I, it was very rare that I actually ended up stopping at three. Um, but I knew in my head that my mental health needed me to stop at three. So I would try my best to stop at three, but I didn't always stop at three. And then to go from that to like nothing, (laughs) like basically nothing. I'm so, I am beyond lucky and fortunate and privileged to have a career um, that is so non-time consuming. Um, The, you know, income I make off of that one week of work. um, I make income off of Minecraft role plays, but it is very it, it it is very small comparatively to what I make through my freelance article writing, freelance editing, freelance voice acting, ASMR. Um, ASMR has become almost, you know, the I I think it's nearly the biggest income of my of my like pie chart of my incomes, which is really crazy. And I could still do ASMR during this time because I have a vocal booth because I do voice acting professionally. Um, And so I was able to just go in my vocal booth and record there. But I can't record gaming videos or Minecraft role plays, obviously, from a vocal booth. You know, like my computer, the, the, the laptop in there cannot handle that. So I basically had to focus on my other work because I love work. I am a workaholic. I will admit it first. Hi, I'm Izzy. And I'm a workaholic. Hi, Izzy. I'm a workaholic and I see that and I, I accept that title. Um, and I try really hard to not completely drown in my work. I try to have a life outside of it, but it's really hard when you love it. And I love what I do. So I also realized I have a lot of ideas that I've never really been able to fully explore, like game development. Um, I started learning game development about two months, I think, before my computer farted and died uh and I really want to continue learning game development and I want to make video games one day um I also have been learning Japanese more which has just been like a fun thing that I've been able to do um I've been writing more books I've been having time to spend with my family more um I just went to the beach for a week I would have never been able to go to the beach for a week I never had vacations, basically. Or if I did, I was recording the entire time. Um, and to be fair, I was working slightly on the on the trip, but like it was very, very light. I could only do certain work, so it kind of prevented me from overworking while I was supposed to be relaxing. I read an entire book, basically, during that week, and I never understood why how people could read that fast. And then I realized it's because from the moment I woke up to the moment I'd go to sleep, I was basically only focusing on my job. Um, rather than my hobbies, um, or my hobby that I'd labeled a job, which is Minecraft role plays. So I'm going to be treating Minecraft role plays as a hobby, uh, from here on. Um, I've realized that I needed a break, just a little break, not too long. Um, I honestly took a longer break when I got COVID last year, uh, when episode one of Internet Crush released. Um, I took a longer break between that and... The second episode, I'm pretty sure I took like almost like a five month break. Um, Then I took that I'm taking right now, you know, Um, Darling Dormitory still scheduled to come out. I am having a lot of fun editing it in the free in my free time. Um, Internet Crush episode 19 and episode 20 still plan to come out. Um, Those I have put a little bit more on the back burner because to be honest, I've been having a lot of fun working on some other projects right now. And so I just kind of have been following my heart more and I hope you guys understand I still love Internet Crush. Internet Crush is one of my favorite things I've ever made. Um, It's just so fun and it's really exciting to be able to make. But that doesn't mean that I can't also make other things that are super exciting and fun. Um, I'm right now making an indie animated series with a bunch of my artist friends. Um, 
more to come out of that eventually. I am slowly creating a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. I have released a podcast with my best friend called She Knows It. Um, She Knows It with Alex and Izzy, uh, where we talk about pop culture. We talk about our advice on things. We talk about life. uh, We talk about navigating our early 20s. Um, Our first couple episodes, like the first episode was talking about like the whole like Nickelodeon stuff that happened um, and like our takes on it and like our theories on stuff that might have happened behind the scenes that was not confirmed um, or conspiracy theories. Um, Wattpad, talking about our Wattpad history from when we were growing up as major Wattpad readers. Um, We have an episode rating Baldur's Gate 3 crushes and like basically defending them on why they should have more like time in the video game or why they should be like a full-blown companion if they're not a full-blown companion um we we read am I the asshole stories like there's a bunch of really fun stuff we get to do over there and it's one of the first projects I've done with her in a really long time and I love her a lot and she is genuinely one of the most important people in my life and so I'm really happy to be able to do something with her um that makes it where we get to hang out more and I've been hanging out so much more with her since I've been giving myself more time to be human outside of my work and it's been really cool um I will say I really miss streaming um I miss making Minecraft role plays as much as I was but I don't miss the stress of it um because I definitely would overwork myself and get stressed um and it was no one's fault but my own um, because that's just the type of person I am. I get very, very enveloped in whatever I'm doing. Um, and I, there's no one to blame but myself and I won't listen to anyone's advice when I'm in that state. It's just what I do. Um, and I am trying to just become more aware of it when it's happening so I can kind of take a step back, breathe, and then continue, uh, which is kind of what this time period has been completely. Um, I've also gotten back into my spiritual practices more. Um, I'm not a very religious or spiritual person, but I do very, very lightly practice Wicca. Um, I'm not hardcore in any way, shape, or form, but it's just something that I've found brings me a lot of peace and a lot of connection to um, whatever you want to call the universe or God or whatever, basically. I I just, I really like it. I, I, I see it more as a connection to myself, basically, is how how I like to look at it um and yeah I I've just been having a lot of fun figuring out who I want to be and I think that's what your 20s are for so I hope you guys aren't upset um or aren't too upset I understand it's completely valid for you to be upset that um some of your favorite series haven't continued as prevalent as they were or got put on paused um I get that and I take complete ownership and responsibility for that and you can blame me all you want for it Um, but I will say that I am probably the happiest I've been in a long time and I think that's way more important um, than a internet series coming out. Um, They will still be coming out, don't get me wrong. They make me happy to make but there's a lot less pressure. I've also been moderating and managing the mctv network server during all this time period which is i think it just hit 800 members today which is actually wild um it's basically a server where i share resources everyone shares resources on how to make micro role plays and mctv series so if that is something you like or you want to support people that do it um feel free to join it it's in my link tree i've also started making IRL content again, uh, which is where my YouTube journey really blossomed. Um, I started YouTube when I was eight. I was a little lass, little, little one. Um, I was eight years old and I made animations like stop motions with my dolls and I would make whiteboard animations and like they were just for me for fun. And um, I was always obsessed with YouTube and becoming a YouTuber. Um, Then I got into doing um, vlogs and I vlogged a lot of my childhood. All of those are private now (laughs) because they shared a little bit too much of my life than I would like to share on the internet nowadays. Um, They didn't get a lot of views, but you know, hey, I mean, some of them did. Like one of them, one of them got like 10,000 views. That was like the most views I'd ever gotten at that point. Um, but I was 
like 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe even 13 when I was doing that channel. Maybe. I think very young 13 if so. Um, and then I started this channel when I was 11. Um, so I was vlogging while I was doing this. Um, and my beginning videos are no longer up. Sadly, I wish they were. Um, but I was very self-conscious about doing YouTube at a certain point in my life. And so I kind of just hit it. Um, when I was like 15, I went through a very, very rough spot with my mental health and feeling judged and ridiculed and just not great stuff. Um, I'm a lot more myself now and a lot more confident in the fact that I just do what I want to do. So that's fun. But I have been doing this channel for nine years. Next year will be 10 years being Izumi. Um, I by no means am retiring or wanting to not do this anymore. Um, but I do think I'm going to be shifting focus. Um, I'm going to still be posting Minecraft role plays. Uh, but I think I'm also going to be streaming more and posting Sims videos maybe. Um, I'm still figuring it out. Uh, I have really been liking playing video games that I grew up watching people play, um, and kind of learning the difference of watching someone play versus playing it myself and like experiencing these very artistically beautiful games for the first time. Um, and I have some more games that are like lined up for me to play that I've really loved watching other people play that I really want to play myself. Um, and I don't spoil anything for the games, by the way. So if you're watching it for the first time and you've never seen gameplay for a game, um, do know that like I'm not going to spoil anything before it happens in the game. I'm going to be playing dumb, basically. I'm not going to be acting like I haven't played this game before, but I'm not going to be talking about things as if I already know what happens um, for the most part. Like some things I'm like, hint, hint, you know, nudge, nudge. Like, oh, that comes back around later. But that's about it. Um... I'm, as I said, I'm still going to be doing micro role plays, so please don't, I, the last thing I want is anyone to feel like I'm quitting that or giving up on that because I really love it and, um, it always will have a special place in my heart. Um, the community has always been something that I struggled with the most. Um, not you guys, you guys are amazing, but the community of micro role plays, there's just a lot of really rude gatekeepy gaslighty people in this community um and so the mctv network i've been really trying to build a community that is not like that um it's really hard when there are a lot of people that are in the community that like you can't like not have on the server if they join the server that you know are that way um but i'm just i'm hoping that the community being such like the the discord server being such a open loving like non-gaslighty, non-gatekeepy place helps open the eyes to those people that like open, helps, helps open their eyes, those people's eyes, um, that the community doesn't have to be that way. Um, and we can all just help each other and grow together. And honestly, like one person's success is everyone's success is how I see it. Um, and that's how I feel like more people should see it. But anyways, that's all I'll say about that. Um, so that's something that I've been grappling with in my own free time. Not my own free time, but like in the meantime um, as well uh, since I started the MCTV network. Uh, because when I first joined doing this, you know, nine years ago, I felt very alone. And I just want to prevent anyone from feeling that way. Um, I think I owe it to Lil Izzy. I think I owe it to all you guys. And, um, so no matter what, even if I'm not posting Minecraft role plays very frequently, I'm going to really try to make the MCTV network something special. Um, something that feels connective, something that feels safe. Um, and me and my moderators, God, I love my moderators. My moderators are the best. They are the glue to that server. Without them, I could not do it. Um, me and my moderators are trying really hard to improve the server day by day um, with the little time I'm able to spend on it now um, that I 
have been reworking the schedule to better facilitate what I'm trying to do nowadays. Um, but you guys can definitely still find me online, by the way. Um, in this time where I'm figuring out what I want to do with this channel. I really miss streaming. I do want to start streaming again, uh, whether that's building sets, um, playing other video games. I think it's mainly going to be building sets. That's genuinely some of the most fun I've ever had streaming is building sets for Internet Crush. Um, that world is just so fun to build in and you guys are so fun. And um, Internet Crush will be continuing definitively. Um, I wanted to have a season two really badly. Um, there's so much more story I want to tell. Um, so I do plan on having a season two. Um, it's just a matter of, I don't know when it's going to come out. Um, and I will tell you guys a, an official date when I know an official date. I want to be as transparent and honest with you guys through all of this as I can be. Uh, we have had a slight rebrand on the channel. Not a rebrand, but like a revamp, if you will. Um, I want to show my face more on here. Um, I want to be more connected with you guys. Um, I love, love, love the PNG tuber that uh, my amazing artist made for me. One of my amazing artists made for me. Um, but I have realized that I want to keep my private life private. But that doesn't mean I don't have to show my face and like be able to talk with you guys, like look at you guys and like speak with you guys. Um, but yeah. I also, I just been really like doing IRL content. I'm posting once a month over on my vlogging channel, uh, Izzy on Elisa, if you want to follow that. Um, let me go ahead and just like shout out all the other things I'm doing right now uh, that are currently like happening that aren't like in the works. So you guys can get some, you know, if, if you guys really like me as a person. Now, if, if if any of these things aren't your cup of tea, I will not take it personally. But if these are your cup of tea, I would love the support. First and foremost is She Knows It, the podcast um, that I was talking to you guys about. It's really funny. It's just a fun time. Um, it's good for while you're commuting to and from school or work, um, cleaning, or just watching it by itself it's on um almost all podcasting platforms so like spotify um i believe it's on apple Podcasts as well if not it's on uh pretty much everyone except for that one i think that one's harder to upload to um but i have like a distributor who's like distributing the content for me so um i know for certain it's on spotify though rate us five stars please and thank you we already have two five star ratings crazy New episodes of that come out every single Tuesday, um, and they are like 45 to an hour and a half long episodes, 45 minutes to an hour and a half long. And yeah, we also have a YouTube channel for that. So if you want to see the visuals, uh, you can see me and Alex over there um, and our faces uh, at She Knows It Pod. So that's the at for us on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all those. So uh, check out that if you would like. Um, you can also check out my vlogging channel, which is Izzy on Elisa. Um, it has videos that will be coming up every single month. Me dyeing my hair in my bathroom by myself, trying to figure out how to do it, um, is going up on there, I think today that I'm filming this. So it should be already be up there for you guys. It's coming out in like 30 minutes for me. Um, so like that video's up. I reacted to like a 1950s housewife article um, because I'm engaged and I was like, how to be a good housewife, um, making fun of it basically the entire time. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to be posting on there more frequently. I want to post like once a month, basically like the first day of every month is like kind of the goal um, for that. And then if I'm able to do that for um, probably like a couple months to a year um I might move it to be once a week who knows depending on the content depending on how long it takes to edit obviously um but I'm just kind of like f finding my footing over there still because IRL content's what I've loved doing for the longest um and it's something that I have not done in three years and haven't done seriously since I was like 12 so <laughs> it's been a while but yeah, those are the main things that I'm doing right now. That, and obviously, I have Izumi ASMR. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, and I totally get that. But if it is, go check it out. Um, I post once a week over there, every Friday at 4 p.m. EST. Um, and yeah, 
So that's what I'm doing right now. If you guys have any questions, if I did not communicate anything properly or I left anything out or you have questions about, okay, wait, wait, how is this going to work though? Please let me know because I just want this to be a discussion. So please comment um, and just ask away any questions you may have, um, any concerns you may have, and I will be answering every single comment that warrants an answer. You know, no hate comments will be answered unless they're constructive criticism. And that's different. Um, that's not really a hate comment, though. Anyways, sorry for the lengthy video. Um, it'll probably also be very minimally edited. But I kind of just wanted to talk and get some stuff off my chest. And this, this was, I feel like, the best way to do it. So, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.